Hello guys, uh, it's been quite a while, uh, I've been quite busy recently, and at the same time, I've been quite lazy, <laughs> so <laughs> there has been no update. But today uh, I managed to uh, have some time to make this video, uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make uh, MACD signals using uh, Python code. I, I believe there was a comment that requested uh, a video on uh, convergence and divergence strategy. So, uh, uh, following the request, uh, I decided to make this video. And an MACD. Uh, stands for uh, moving average convergence and divergence strategy and it's quite popular one and you can easily find uh, information on this strategy at the Wikipedia Wikipedia and and actually uh, this strategy has been uh, widely used uh, for uh, stock trading and also for uh, crypto trading and I'm going to apply this uh, strategy using a uh, Python language and uh, Bybit API. And uh, Bybit is a cryptocurrency exchange that is getting quite popular recently. Uh, it has a simple interface and uh, it has good uh, API system that works well. And uh, what I like about Bybit is that their server is quite reliable. So, uh, and uh, I've never experienced sudden sh shutdown from Bybit yet. Uh, and uh, those of you trade a lot probably uh, uh, experience that uh, the reliable server is quite imp important. Uh, because uh, if the server stops when you sleep, <laughs> then it could be a catastrophe. So, uh, so back to MACD. Uh, uh, if you go to the Bybit uh, trade uh, website here, um, and and you can easily add uh, in MACD indicator. By clicking uh, here, indicator, and search for MACD. So, if you click it, then there will be uh, MACD uh, indicators uh, under the chart. Uh, I'm not gonna go into like details about the MACD strategy, but uh, basically, there are two lines in this strategy. Blue line is the MACD line, and the red line is the signal line. And what this strategy uh, tells us is that uh, when the uh, MACD line crosses the uh, signal line upward, like cross here upward, then it re recommends buy here, buy, buy. When when blue line crosses the uh, red line upward. And it recommends buy. And when the uh, blue line crosses the signal line downward, then it recommends the sell. And uh, to use this strategy in an automated way, then we need to calculate the, the value of the uh, red line and blue line. So uh, today's video is about the uh, calculation of the values for uh, these two lines. So to 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 calculate the values using the Python language, we need some libraries, and the first one is the pandas. This is the famous uh, library for uh, data analysis and uh, second is the uh, pybit this is the uh, third party made uh, library for uh, pybit api and you can install it by 
uh, typing in uh, pip install pybit at the command uh, prompt and the next one is the import uh, to import the time daytime and calendar so uh, first uh, we need uh, we need to make a connection with the uh, uh, bybit api server so this is the part uh, to to make the connection and and you need to put in your api key that you got from bybit and the api secret key here uh, without this you're not getting anything from a uh, bybit server and i'm going to use the infinite roof by typing in while true and uh since we need the uh, uh candlestick information price information from uh bybit we need to tell them uh from when we need the uh, data so uh th this part specifies the uh the the, the the date that we need the uh, data from. So now, this is quite simple. I think you, you can just copy and paste this part. Just uh, type in this. And uh, this one is the one that requires the uh, historical uh, historical data from uh, from a. Uh, uh, Bybit API server. So uh, there are a few parameters that you need to specify. Uh, the first one is symbol. Um, I'm going to apply this to uh, uh, Bitcoin inverse contract. And the interval uh, would be uh, for today's video, I'm going to set it to day. So we are getting a uh, 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 day data and uh, from specifies from when up to when uh, we need the data from so so this since w we already defined so since so and uh, we're going to use the since that we defined earlier so see if we I'm going to okay apply this. So if we execute this part, we are getting a bunch of data. They are going to give us a bunch of data, previous data in uh in this form and So if we use this command, they are going to give uh, historical data in this formation, uh, in this format, and we want to put this into data frame to make our calculation easier. So this part, okay. okay. If, if you execute this part. see okay okay so now we have a data frame that has uh, the, the price information we need and uh, since we are going to use a close price data only so I'm going to uh, def uh, make another definition of uh, data frame now after this you only have a close value the, the last row is the the most recent one uh okay so now we are ready to calculate the uh macd the the, the formula is, is uh is defined in a way that uh you subtract the uh uh exponential moving average of long term 
uh, from exponential moving average of short term. So and and by default, usually uh, the long lo longer term is defined to be 26 period, and the short term is usually uh, defined to be 12. But you can you can change this part uh, based on your research. And uh, exp3 uh, is for the signal line. The signal line can be calculated by uh, taking a, a by calculating the exponential moving average of uh, MACD that we calculate earlier, and, and uh, usually the uh, the interval is uh, nine nine period. So now. Okay, I'm going to execute this part. Okay, and now we can print out the uh, MACD and signal. So and uh, let's see, quite yeah. So we we get uh, there could be some latency problem. So it's not exactly match, but uh, if you run it uh, on live mode, then it should match. So so we have. We we uh, now uh, we can we can see the uh, MACD value and the signal value on our screen. Uh, and uh, but the the thing is though we want to use these uh, values to to buy or sell uh, the products. So so uh, as I explained earlier. We want to buy when the MACD line crosses the signal line upward, and we want to sell when the MACD line crosses the signal line downward. And and uh, so we need to calculate the difference between signal line and the MACD line in the previous line uh, in the previous period. And the same for the the recent one. So here minus two indicates that uh, it is for the previous previous uh, period. So test one uh, subtracts the uh, MACD value from signal line in uh, one leg period, and test two is for the the recent one. And the default uh, trade recommendation uh, is set to be no trade. So when test one is negative and test two is positive, then the recommendation would be sell. Uh, when test one is positive and test one is uh, test two is negative, then the recommendation would be buy. And I'm I'm going to uh, uh I'm going to uh print out this message the the, the recommendation so, so we can see we can actually see the recommendation on the screen and and I'm going to run this uh, loop see how it works okay see, uh, so y you get the live data you get the live data now because uh, we are running in a infinite loop. And let's see how the value. Uh, let's see if the value is uh, good enough. See. Okay. Okay. The signal line is two five six seven. Okay. Two five six seven. And pull line MACD line is one nine five seven. Okay, one nine five seven. Okay, okay. We have the accurate values now. So based on this uh this this coding, you can uh you you can further develop this uh, this this model into a into a bot that uh, 
automatically places order or uh, you can add more parameters to uh, to to make it into more sophisticated one so uh, uh, today uh, this is it and uh, I hope that this video is uh, useful to you and uh, if you have any further requests uh, please post comment so uh, I can make a more useful video in the future and uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll come back soon thank you